Lincoln was elected president in 1861, shortly after the South had seceded from the Union. During his inaugural speech, Lincoln made efforts to voice his disapproval of secession. However, Lincoln didn't take action until April of 1861 when the shots were fired at Fort Sumter. He sent Union troops to battle, and as a result, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Arkansas decided to secede. Lincoln took faith in General George McClellan, who was appointed General-in-Chief of the Union Army. The Union lost its first battle at Bull Run, and Lincoln became motivated to establish a war strategy. Lincoln wanted a quick victory for the North, and became concerned with McClellan's lack of urgency. He turned to a man named John Pope, who agreed with Lincoln's strategy. Unfortunately, John Pope was defeated at the Second Battle of Bull Run. After bringing McClellan back, the Union won the Battle of Antietam, and Lincoln had an opportunity to, to announce his plan for the Emancipation Proclamation. Prior to this, Congress passed the Second Confiscation Act, which was the first step to freeing the slaves. Lincoln was able to write a draft of his Emancipation Proclamation, a document that freed slaves from the Confederacy who came to Union territory. The proclamation was announced on September 22, 1862, and was in effect January 1, 1863. The next big win for the Union was the Battle of Gettysburg, where Lincoln delivered one of his most famous speeches. He addressed the Civil War and spoke of his desire for human equality in the country free of state rights. In 1864, Lincoln was re-elected and began Reconstruction. He made trips to Virginia to meet with Grant and Sherman, and by the time he returned to Washington on April 9, 1865, Lee surrendered at the Appomattox Courthouse, officially ending the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was an outstanding president and handled the Civil War extremely well. He accomplished what he set out to do, which was free the slaves and reunite the country.